Hello and welcome. For those who may not know me, my name is Ms. Nancy, and I am the Christian Education Director here at Fields United Methodist Church. As the Christian Education Director, one of my responsibilities is the Sunday School program. Now, since we have had to close the church building due to the coronavirus, it has been quite a long time since we have been able to be together and meet for Sunday school. But we want you to know that we miss all of you, we've been thinking about you, and we've been praying for you. And because of this, it was decided that we would be bring Sunday school directly to you. Each week, I will be recording a Sunday school lesson that will be available after 6.30 p.m. each Friday, and you may view it on your YouTube or Fields Facebook page. Now, before I begin our lesson, there is something I want to show you. Today, I have brought with me my mystery bag. What is a mystery bag, you ask? It is a bag that contains secret objects. Each week, I will pull out that object from the bag and use it to help in telling the story for that week's Sunday school lesson. I bet you are curious to know what we have in the bag this week. Okay, let us take a look and see what we have. Not a very big item, and it is something that we do not see every day. Who can tell me what this item is? I will give you a few minutes to think. Okay. If you said it was a spark plug, you would be absolutely correct. Now, where do you think a spark plug would be used? Ah, you are right again. In a car. This spark plug is just a tiny part of what makes a car run. Another part that helps a car run is the engine. I don't have an actual engine to show you because it would be much too heavy to carry and it'd be way too big to fit in our mystery bag. So I just brought this tiny spark plug instead. Now, since both items help make the car run, which one do you think is more important? Spark plug or the engine? Actually, they are both very important because the engine cannot work without the spark plug and the spark plug cannot work without the engine. Today, our gospel reading is taken from Mark chapter 9, verses 30 through 34. They left that place and passed through Galilee. Jesus did not want anyone to know where they were because he was teaching his disciples. He said to them, the Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men. They will kill him, and after three days he will rise. But they did not understand what he meant and were afraid to ask him about it. They came to Capernaum. When he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the road? But they kept quiet because on the way they had argued about who was the greatest. Now, during his time on earth, 
Jesus taught his disciples many lessons. He told them to teach others these lessons after he was gone. But like us, the disciples didn't always understand what Jesus was trying to tell them. In our gospel story for today, Jesus' disciples were arguing about which one was more important. Sometimes, like the disciples, there are people today who argue over who is more important. Perhaps you even know someone who believes he or she is more important than you are. They may even give you some silly reasons for why they think that way, such as, well, I'm smarter than you. Uh, I have more toys than you. I am prettier or stronger than you. Or I am better because of the color of my skin. No matter what reason a person may give for why they think they are so important, Jesus taught that none of those reasons are important. In fact, Jesus taught that all people are important, no matter who they are. It doesn't matter if you are male or female, rich or poor, young or old, small like a spark plug, or big like an engine. We are all of equal importance in the eyes of God. So the next time someone tries telling you that they are more important than you, just remember the importance of this tiny spark plug and also remember that everyone is equally important to God. Let us pray. Dear God, help us to be humble and recognize the worth of all people, regardless if they may be different from us. Help us to realize that each person is important to you and should also be important to us. Amen. Thank you for watching our Sunday School lesson online. Each week, the lesson may vary in length based on what the story may be about. I hope you enjoyed and will tune in next week to see what is in the